going on guys? Dylan Conrad, Coach Con Diesel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about why you should weigh yourself every single freaking day. Before I get into that, follow me on social media at Coach underscore Con Diesel. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, turn notifications on, all helps the algorithm. So why you should weigh yourself every single day. Let me say first and foremost, if you have a diagnosed eating disorder, you should not weigh yourself every single day. I would suggest not even actually stepping on the scale at all. If you have a diagnosed uh, bulimia, anorexia, anything like that, please do not do this. For the rest of you guys listening to this, um, definitely weigh yourself every single day. And so we, it is, it is innate in us. It is a natural reaction for us to step on the scale and base our progress and how we're doing on the scale, sometimes to so much extent that like can throw off our entire day. And so what that is showing us is that you are focused more on the end result and you're in a fixed mindset rather than the habits and the behaviors being your growth mindset and those being your your wins not the result the goal is always the habits the goal is never the result so let that sink in for a second also understand that it is innate it is innate for you to step on the scale and feel some type of way about that and now what daily uh, weighing does for you is it basically takes you out of that mindset and allows you to really think more long term in and and uh, delay instant gratification and less short term. And so how we do that is basically when we're weighing ourselves every single day, we're not looking at our progress and our results every single day. Rather, what we're looking for are the averages from week to week of what that number is. Because if you're weighing yourself every single day, you're going to retain more water and you're gonna fluctuate every single day, especially women, uh, 40 plus, you guys are gonna fluctuate so much. So basing your wins and losses on that even though you shouldn't do it already, it, it isn't giving you an actual picture of really what's going on with your fat loss. And so when we weigh every single day and we look at the averages, we're taking those fluctuations completely out of the equation and we are getting just a clear picture of what the averages are gonna look like from week to week. Recently had a client DM me some type of, you know, I'm not losing any weight, what's going on? I'm super frustrated, da da da, my adherence has been perfect. Looking back on it, we showed seven days of what her weight was. So we took the average of those first seven days, and then we took the average of the second seven days, and what we found was a 2.8 pound rate of fat loss, weight loss. And this was extremely significant. This is a very high. Um, typically what we see is you know one to two pounds, but if you're getting three pounds, four pounds per week, that is extremely high. Obviously things don't work linearly, right? So you might be adhering 100%, being frustrated, three weeks later your average is staying the same or maybe even going up, but eventually it will break. So anyways, weigh yourself every single day. If you're feeling some type of way about it, really understand that what you're feeling is very innate, it's a very natural reaction. Secondly, note that basing your wins on your end result rather than basing it on your habits um, is going to be a losing battle for you. And also notice that playing the daily scale, it's not even giving us a clear picture of what's going on. And also notice that playing the daily scale game and basing your results and your wins and losses on that, it isn't actually giving you a clear picture of what's going on. Take the weekly average, compare it from week to week, write it down, make it happen, and I guarantee you will feel so, so much clearer, so much better about your progress. Um, and also just what your what your relationship is with the scale. I put that in quotations because no one has a relationship with the scale because just saying that two things happen. One is you give the scale power over you, which why would you do that? The second thing you're doing is you're basically saying that you are in a one-sided relationship and relationships are two-sided, right? So it's like saying I'm on a relationship with a rock and we just want to look at these things like objective measurements, these, these this weight as an objection measurement and take your feelings out. Always remember that data is greater than your emotions. Love you guys, hope this helps. Uh, we are closed down for the six week transformation challenge. If you are looking to get completely shredded, lose 15 to 25 pounds in the next 12 weeks, please, please, please let me know. Um, you can click, I'm gonna put a link down there, dcfitness.la slash enrollment dash form, enroll in our program. I'll be giving you a call and we'll get you squared away. Enjoy the rest of your day.